What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and today we're gonna make a quick video on this Aki charger Now this is amazing because this is 65 watts and this will be the first thing I have that does 65 watts over power delivery Meaning it'll charge a battery bank that's 45 watts at full speed or a 60 watt battery bank at full speed or my Chromebook at full speed So that's why this is so exciting. So let's take a look at this and let's open it up All right, so inside the box, it's pretty simple. We just have the little charger with some flip out prongs so you can keep it in your pocket and not get poked, which is nice. And the last one you have is just a user manual and some feedback stuff or warranty stuff. I actually recently lost the manual to one of my products that's no longer listed online. And I was able to go back to my old video and recall the instructions from this sheet. <laughs> so, uh, Hopefully it helps someone else out as well, but there's all the stuff it can do. Now you'll notice that second output is for just 18 watts maximum. So you'll want to use that for like your, um, you know, your iPhone fast charging or, you know, a device that doesn't use more than 18 watts and then plug your top device in that uses the most power. So like my Pixel 4 draws about 21, 22 watts. So I'll probably use the top port. And then my Tab S6 uses about 20 watts. So I can go ahead and plug that into the bottom one. E you know, either or. They both use about the same to charge up. Now you might ask yourself, why? <laughs> Besides having full speed charging. So let's go ahead and demonstrate why. This is just a little uh, thing I got off uh, Amazon. The PN2000. I don't currently have an Aki battery bank. So I'm going to use a different brand one here. And make sure you use a quality cable, please. Absolutely make sure you use a quality cable because certain cables are only rated for so many amps uh, and you don't want a cable that can't handle 65 watts, pumping out 65 watts, or it just simply won't do it. So I've got a uh, 3.1 Gen 2 cable here and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I think this is rated at 100 watts. So I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see that we currently just have one bar because I was using this to power my portable monitor which I did a video on a little, a little while back. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it into that 18 watt port down here. And there we go, we're getting a little bit more than 18 watts out of that. So what we can also do is change it for the top one and show you just how crazy fast this thing is. Watch these numbers. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> that is so awesome. This is going to charge this battery bank at its full possible speed, which is dope. I'm actually going on a trip soon, and having something like this, where my car only has one cigarette port, so having something like this to power up my phone for the entire trip, while I've got the other one charging my daughter's you know, Nintendo Switch and her phone, and it's it's just, it's incredibly awesome. And this thing will also charge the Switch at full speed. Aki does have a 65 watt power delivery battery bank, and uh, I might be possibly checking that out soon. Now, I guess the thing is, this is 65 watts. Let's see what happens when we try to charge something else up. Let's go ahead and plug in our Google Pixel here, which I know personally can charge at about 21 to 22 watts at full speed. So let's see what happens with that number when we plug in a second device. It should go down, and that it did. Okay, so now it's putting out the same wattage, but it's distributing power to my phone now. So this won't be charging as fast as it could be, but it'll still be charging pretty damn fast. And there you go, 2.6 amps. Not too shabby. Aki was kind enough to also send out a lightning cable. So it is a USB type C to lightning. So if you have an iPhone 11 that has fast charging, you will be able to uh, fast charge your phone with this guy. So let's go ahead and open this up. And there we go, it's got all the different iPhone models. So the XS Max, the 8, 7, 6, 5S too, wow, all right. Wow, that's a braided cable. That's a quality cable there. All right, so let's go ahead and plug up our phone. 
and this is just the uh, X. This isn't the 11 or anything newer than that. So I've never seen my iPhone 10 charge very fast, so I don't believe this device has fast charging. So normally you plug it in, you'll hear a second beep or if you uh, have your sound on, and this device has never done that. My battery is almost full, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just for fair comparison here, this is just an 18 watt one, so let's go ahead and plug that in, see if it goes any faster. And we're getting about six. So let's go ahead and try one more thing. This is a 30 watt power delivery. So I'm gonna plug that in. And we're getting about the same. I will leave a link to this charger and the Type-C to Lightning. You will need the Type-C to Lightning to charge your iPhones and your, ta your uh, tablets at full speed because USB-A to USB-C will not work like that. So I will leave a link to this charger and I will leave a link to Aki's cable in the description below. Thank you, Aki, for sending this out. I'm excited that I can charge up my battery at full speed because before, the maximum charger I had was just 30 watts. And now I have a 65 watt one, which is dope AF. Thank you for watching. Again, all links will be in the description below. At the time of filming, comments are disabled. It's not my fault. YouTube decided nobody should be able to comment on my videos. I don't know how long it's going to be like this, but it's been like this for a long time. So reach me on Twitter or Instagram if you have questions or feedback or shoot me an email. It's available on my YouTube homepage. You can see it in my banner. Have a nice day. This is what Josh do and I'm out.